Round one of Major League Rugby comes to a close right here in Austin, Texas, as the Arrows and the Gilgronies hunt for a win. Our first look at Andy Quatrin, one of the stars of the World Cup for Canada. Great steal there for Austin early on. There's the hustle that you want, and that's new player Richie Asiata. He's almost up to the trial, and what a start this would be for the Arrows. First points. As they are knocking on the door. They go again, inches from the line there. Again, they're over. Referee Lex Weiner, he's happy with it. There's the opening try. It's the Toronto Arrows. It only took a minute and 20 seconds. And Toronto, well, they have come to play tonight, Pete. Well, I mean, it was all about the pressure of that initial kickoff. It was a great kickoff by Toronto that pinned Austin inside their own half and from the line out. And, you know, we talked about how important set pieces are in the game of rugby. That's the line out and the scrum. And it was actually from the, the line out that um, Austin stole the ball, but then was picked up. And now when you're near the line, it's about being slow and methodical. And you can see the referee Weiner right there be able, to, be able to call that try. The Chilean number nine looking to score the first ever points for an Austin Gilgroni player. No mistakes from the number nine. Three on the board, seven points to three. Eight and a half minutes gone here at Bold Stadium. Not a surprising option here. We've already seen the dominance against the feed from Toronto, and they continue that. Diana at the back, controls the ball. This will be a try for sure. The second, all he had to do was pick it up. It looks like a little fumble there. I think it's a penalty try. It I is think. a penalty yeah. try, Pete. And there you go. Penalty try will go right under the post. No conversion necessary. 14 points to three. I think Diana probably would have liked to have had the double there, the legit try, but hands let him down at the end. Here we so, take a look at the replay, Pete. Yeah, so in the scrum, you can see that what happens is that Toronto keep going forward, but the Austin players peel off, and the referee said, okay, that's a penalty, and it prevented from Toronto scoring the try. And Flags are up, no mistakes from Malcolm. 14 points to three, turns into 17 points to three. It's the Arrows. They extend their lead to 14 here over Austin. So cap off a great night already for his Arrows debut. McKenzie, quick hands. Diana already five points. They come right again. Quick hands will do it more in the corner. Beautiful ball from Adam Zoe. Flat cutout pass to Moore. And the skipper gets five. And you can see him thanking his fly half right there. Beautiful lead up work from the number 10 from New Zealand. There was some really, really good play there by Toronto. They were able to play with pace. You can see this is from a kick from Elan Puddock, which I'm not sure he really wants to do. He needs to keep that ball in hand. And we said they've got space wide. And look at what Moore does. He comes back inside so he doesn't get pushed out of bounds. They're able to move that ball quickly. A couple of actually really, really good plays. There was um, Cole Keith who had a great break as a tight head prop through the middle. But you're right, some great hands. Um, uh, the referee told him to move to the side. Well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't Sam matter. Malcolm. Doesn't matter. He nailed it. <laughs> Flags go right up in the air. 24 points to three. Yes, sir. Here, Young at the back. To move forward, McKenzie wants it though. Scoots out, little hole, McKenzie just has to get the ball down. He does just that. That's a great reward for a great game for the scrum half. McKenzie opens the second half with five points for Toronto, 29 points to three. Well, it's all been about the, the scrum dominance. You can see what the referee sees is he sees um, Austin wheel the scrum. That means it takes all of the defenders away. Nice little block there by Rumble. Finally dragged down just a meter short. As they'll keep it in tight with the forwards. It's all body height here. We've seen the arrow score in almost identical position in the first half. And there it is. They get it over. It's the hooker shade. He gets five points for the Gilgronies. We appreciate if this pudding can stay on the Austin side. It may not, though, as the arrows again dominant. They have the advantage, it may not need it. They may not need it at all. Malazzo, the dive.
save, the slide, the try. Beautiful stuff for the Arrows. And they get their fifth try of the night. Well, you know, we talked about how Austin Scrum had done much better over the last few, um, over the last 20 minutes. But it, again, it's back to the dominance. A little bit of a lack of focus maybe there by Austin. And um, Pete Malazzo, who's a real solid player, one of those guys that wants to show that he should start on this team, um, steps up and, and scores it when he got here in high school and then went on to play college football before um, turning back to rugby for the second part of his college career. Ferguson, he's had enough tonight. Drives that one over the sideline. And that will bring the full-time whistle. 38 points to 10. The Toronto Arrows, they run out convincing winners in their opening game.